How's it going? The question of whether film is dying has many an interpretation. I'm going to focus on the two main branches, at least those in my eyes. The first one being the quality of big budget filmmaking, i.e. look at all these shitty sequels and reboots Hollywood keeps pumping out. It can be argued that big budget Hollywood blockbusters are beginning to get very formulaic, but that really is the nature of the industry. It is a business after all. A hugely prolific and very successful business that a lot of us take for granted, sure, but a business nonetheless. Because of this, it tends to get run in a very ruthless sort of what's the best way to make tons of money from this madness kind of way. As such, it's very rare for a large company to make a film that's very out there or experimental. Producers and whatnot that fund the films do so trusting that the money they put in will be rewarded somehow, usually with a load more money. As such, they tend to be reluctant to back projects that they would consider to be risky, i.e. play to a niche market or won't draw huge audiences and big endorsements. That's why they tend to play it safe with sequels and reboots, or formulaic pastiches. This concept worked before, let's just put a few subtle differences in to trick people into watching them. Or, if they do go for something risky, cut, edit and reshape it into something that's a little more profitable. It's rare for a big budget film to have a producer that just hands over complete creative control to the people making the film. Sometimes this isn't a bad thing. Hey, George Lucas, hey. Jack, in his video, tackled this angle, and so did Dan who also brought up an example of Christopher Nolan's Inception. Now the concept of Inception wasn't exactly a safe bet in terms of what Hollywood producers usually go for, but bear in mind he'd been sitting on that film for about a decade before he actually made it. He had to prove himself capable of making films that would bring in the big bucks before they were comfortable backing it. Producing films in the industry is essentially glorified gambling. You put in a load of time and money and effort and hope it pays off. Of course if you're an actor, writer or director then you kind of hope the end product is good quality as well, because that's kind of how you get your next job. Thing is, we eat this stuff up. Even though a lot of us sit there bitching and moaning about how there's another Twilight or Michael Bay has strung together 40 minutes of explosion effects with some words in between, or Sony's rebooted a series that's not even a decade old in a transparent attempt to keep hold of the rights, loads of us still go and watch them. Especially the last one. Because Spider-Man is awesome. But that's the thing, the audience will always come back for more. Hell, I know many people that will go and see terrible, terrible movies just to prove to themselves how terrible they are. People will pay to be disappointed. This is why it's hard to say that film is dying. It can be said, though, that it is under threat. The internet is a powerful weapon, my friends. Social media can allow us to essentially write off a film within hours of its premiere. I can come out of a cinema, write a little tweet or a Facebook status about the film, and instantly I've told several hundred people about it. And assuming they trust my opinion, I've essentially provided or denied a whole lump of their audience. The other threat is the birth of crowdfunding. Sites like Kickstarter, Indiegogo and the aptly named Crowdfunder allow people to give as much or as little as their hard-earned or ill-gotten monies towards projects and notions that have been set up by other members of the community. For filmmakers, this means getting your movie funded by cutting out the middleman completely. If the idea has legs, the appropriate audience will find it and pay handsomely to see it become a reality. In doing so, the creators are not subject to the demands and restrictions laid down on them by prospective producers. A prominent and recent example of this is I Wish I Was Here, a film by Zach Braff, I believe a spiritual sequel to his prior indie hit Garden State. If you follow the link I'll put in the description, you can read Braff's own explanation. Save me some time to talk about the other half of the matter, and that is home media. Home media has always been considered a bit of a threat, even back in the days of VHS and Betamax. Although, let's be honest, didn't really need to fear anything there, did they? When DVD came out, that was something different. That was potentially more dangerous, but still didn't fly. Of course, now we have the rise of streaming internet entertainment. And with the quality of internet video rising all the time, it's becoming more and more of a danger. Releasing films on the internet has a much wider distribution. And many filmmakers nowadays that are just starting out are making things exclusively for the internet. Talking to people from the crowdfunding websites, people like Patrick Bourvan, YouTubers, Vimeo artists. However, in spite of all that, there's still something to be said for the cinema experience. It's not something that can be recreated in the home, no matter how good your facilities. Jack talked about all the price increases and the silly gimmicks and such, and I think it's a shame that they feel they have to do that. When I think about the cinema, I think if people are going to go, they're going to go. You know, build it and they will come. Even all these new filmmakers that are distributing their work online and such, they still aspire to have their films shown in the cinema. It's top of the line, it means you made it, you get your film on the silver screen, you projected huge for everyone to see. So that's what I think it is. It's not really dying. It's just struggling to adjust to the way things are moving nowadays. But it'll be alright. As you may have guessed from the uh, title and my serious demeanour, this is another talk response. So the obligatory link back there.
So if you enjoyed it, hit like. If you want to keep up to date, hit subscribe. Head over to the talk channel, leave a video response there or here if you want to talk about it or leave some comments, you know. Keep it rolling. Quite fancy some popcorn now. <laughs>